Hello soulmates and welcome back to our channel. On our most recent trip to Victoria, we learned that this city on Vancouver Island is one of the most haunted in all of Canada. It attracts paranormal investigators from all over the world due to its high reports of paranormal activity. The city is full of dark history and while we were here we experienced our car sensors picking up movement from invisible objects, we heard a growl in our hotel room and we found orbs in our footage. Could this be more evidence from the hauntings? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Now let's get into the top 5 most haunted places in Victoria. So the next spot on our most haunted list is the castle right behind me and this used to belong, was built for a family and now it is used as a museum. So legend has it, even though they officially haven't reported this location as haunted, um, there's still several reports of a little girl being seen around the property, feet being seen going down the stairs, as well as music being heard throughout the castle with absolutely no source. me is St. Anne's Academy and already walking in here you guys there's a really like just eerie feeling um, definitely something off about the energy in this place so this has been around since the 1800s so you can imagine it has a very long history it was founded by four sisters and this is a Catholic institution so it's been a hospital it's been an academy so like an education background and it is rumored that the four sisters that founded this place are still roaming around the property because they're worried about what is going to become of it. On top of that, there is another rumor that the architect who designed this building killed people and actually poured them into the cement of the foundation. So apparently those souls are also still trapped here. is now a popular shopping area in downtown Victoria, but that's not what it started as. In the 1800s, this was a red light district, and the ghosts that fill the space are said to be those who visited the saloons, brothels, and gambling dens that once filled the space. has a gate of harmonious interest decorated with symbols that are meant to keep away evil spirits. This alley used to be filled with brothels and gambling spaces that now are occupied by small boutiques. The passageway is only 5 feet wide and stores a love story gone wrong. 
A slave girl once rejected the marriage proposal of a teenage boy and in his rage and heartbreak, he cut off her head and went running through the alley to hide. Visitors have experienced being pushed against the brick walls. If you come visit this alley, try to find a bullet hole that hit the brick walls. brings us to the number one most haunted spot in all of Victoria and arguably because this actually used to be a spot where a lot of criminals got hanged and put to death um, for their crimes. So it says that you can see a lot of the spirits that still roam this area of Victoria and if you're walking here at night and it is actually a quiet night you can actually hear chains or people following you in the alleys right in this area. down this alley and the guard actually brutally beat him to death right here so it is said that you can hear this inmate walking around here following right behind you or you can hear him walking down this alley late at night and this has been reported on by locals and people walking down this alley for many years 